up you guys welcome back to chic blends my name is richenza marie and i'm queen so today we are going to be doing a comparison of our chanel chevron statement flat bag and quita has the what size do you have i have the medium size and i have the small okay so we're going to give you a quick tour of the bag first of all it is in the chevron print so so pretty and then it has the classic straps with the gold hardware with the leather entwined it does have the garments on the top or the garments on the top and they are side by side as opposed to kind of like um, up and down which is kind of how this classic flap is and then here we have the CC logo with the classic turn lock closure Okay, and then in the inside we have the signature double CC. Mm -hmm. And then as far as the material inside of the bag, it's just a fabric. It's not leather or anything, it's just a fabric. I really love the inside. And of then it. you have the zipper pouch that's here, and then you have another little pocket that's there. So let's get into questions about the bag. So what made you purchase the bag? So for me, I purchased it honestly because of the price. The price was amazing and it's such a beautiful bag. And for Chanel, the price that we got it at was amazing. So for mine, the small, it retailed for $2,700 mm -hmm. and currently the price is $3,400. Okay, and mine retailed when we purchased it, which was in 2017, when the bag kind of first came out. I purchased the bag at $3,000, no tax included, and it now retails for $3,000. $700. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> the next question. Do you think that you would purchase this bag as opposed to purchasing a Chanel classic flap? I would definitely just go for the classic, not get this bag, but if you are trying to get it at a reasonable price, you just want a Chanel bag, a beautiful purse at a lower cost, then I would definitely purchase this bag. So the pros of this bag is, I do think if, so say for instance, you really, really want a classic Chanel flap, but you know that, okay, you either can't afford it or you just won't purchase it because of the price. I do think this bag has a classic look. It does have um, the hardware and straps like, you know, a classic. The classic. And then it is in Chevron, so I do feel like this bag will be around for a really, really long time mm -hmm. if you want it to have it for a long time. As well as the fact that I like that it's smushy. It's a super smushy material, so it's easy to pack things in it, as yeah. well as the fact that it's a single flap bag. It yes. does not have that uh, double flap, so it's really, really, really easy to get in and out of the bag. So for all of your everyday items that you use, was it able to fit everything that you normally use? Yes. My everyday items. Can you see that? Oh, you have so much stuff yes, in there. Yes, everything is in there. So I'll take tell you guys what I have in at the end of the video because this actually is the bag that I'm using right now. And then for me, my pros is definitely the size. Going out, I feel like it's not too much. Like if I'm going out, I don't have a big bulky purse. It's not overstuffed. Mm -hmm. I just love it. Okay. So that's my pro. It's the size of it. And it can fit everything that I normally use. So you don't use yours on a regular basis? I don't. Usually when I wear mine, it's out to the club, if I'm going out, if we're going to dinner. But I don't use it as an everyday. Okay, so yeah, I'm the opposite. I kind of use mine as an everyday bag. Like I just use it like normal. So the cons... Honestly, I would say the cons are, um, I don't like how the sides of the bag came. Mm -hmm. Like if you see like that, like kind of like wrinkling there, that was already on the bag when I got it. And then when my sister got hers, I noticed that she had the same wrinkling as well. So I don't like that. Okay. As well as the fact that I think comparing it to a Chanel double flap, the quality is definitely different. And I feel like that's a con, especially if you are kind of new to Chanel and you want to get that Chanel experience, but then you don't get the Chanel quality. I don't like that. Like, I feel like if you're going to make a bag, especially even though it's on the cheaper side, like, make the bag. Right. Make the bag be bomb as hell. Yes. And I don't definitely. think they did that with this bag. 
Okay, and for my con, I would definitely say the size of the straps. So with the straps, since it is a small, of course, it's a little bit thinner. But with that being said, if I were to have a lot of items in my purse and I was to just do it as just a single strap, sometimes it could dig into my arm. Oh, it because did? it's so slender. Oh, okay. And if I have a lot of items in my purse, it could dig into it. Oh, so I don't yeah. have that issue with mine. Because, because yours and are, straps are thicker. I was going to say that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> my straps are thicker, so I don't have that. <laughs> so I don't have that issue because these straps are very sturdy. Yeah. And uh, let's get into the wear and tear. So we've had these purses since 2017. And for me, the wear and tear out of a 0 to 10, 10 being great wear and tear, 0 being boo. I'm going to rate it at, I would say, I would say an 8. What? I'm going to rate it as an 8. And the reason why I took two points off is because... In the inside, I have a few scratches that are inside of my purse. Mm -hmm. And for me, two scratches is pretty good, but it's still scratch. I feel have like Have you I, tried to get them out? I haven't. I haven't tried to get them out, but I feel like at the cost of this purse, it should get itself out. <laughs> <laughs> it should rub clean itself away. Itself. <laughs> clean itself it too. should clean itself. So with that being said, I put it at an eight. But for me, I am super hard she on is. my purses. Mm -hmm. So for it to only have two scratches, I feel like that is pretty good for me. What about you? Because I know you do yours as an everyday. Okay, so for me, I do wear mine as an everyday bag. I do have... Okay. <laughs> Look, buff it out. I'm, yeah, I'm buffing it out with good old spit. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> okay so yeah it came all the way out like i did have a mark on the back it did come all the way out do you have any scratches in the inside of yours oh wow. um, yeah no scratches what the inside of my bag is in perfect condition oh no nah. snoop dog dog <laughs> <laughs> yeah. how is it that i have scratches see i have this right there and then i have another one See, you know what? I feel like you are very rough on your bag. I am. Like, she is super rough on her bags. Like, I don't know if you guys watched the Gucci video where she threw her bag. <laughs> That's her everyday life. Like, she throws her bags. I'm very, like, my bags have a home. Like, literally, they, they have a house. She does not let people touch her purse. They, my bags have a house. So, even, like, when I go out and I'm, like, using my bag, I'll come home and my bags have a shelf that they're on. So, yeah. I have a shelf. I mean, you have a shelf, but it don't be on the shelf. Like, yo, just, listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> listen to me when I tell you that you would not believe that this is a Chanel bag, the way she treats her bag. So, I treat this one really good, though. The other ones, that's, that's up for debate. <laughs> yeah, that's up for debate. So, yeah, I don't have any uh, scratches or any marks, nothing on the inside. As well as the fact, too, I don't know if she does this. I also uh, use a mini pochette. So, like, most of my items are actually inside of pouches. Oh, couch. oh so I don't I do think, that. Yeah, that she probably should. makes a big difference, too. Okay. okay. Maybe I should start doing that. Yeah. Okay. Maybe you should. Okay, so the big question is, would you purchase this bag again? Oh, that's tricky. Would you purchase this bag at the price that it is now? Because currently, that's that's what people, if they were to buy it, they're going to get it at this price. Like I said, I think if you just really want a Chanel bag and you have no intentions on getting the classic uh, Chanel double flap, I would get this bag. Okay. Yeah, because it is like a great price steal mm -hmm. in comparison to the classic flap. So I do feel like overall, I would purchase it again. I would do it again. Yeah. I would. I'm saying if I was you. If I was yes. you and <laughs> you wanted the Chanel double flap, I would get the Chanel double flap over the statement flap. Okay. As for me, considering my bag retail for $3,700, right. I would honestly get a boy bag. Oh, ooh, I love the boy bag. Yeah. And I'm only saying that because I do have... 
Chanel double flaps already. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying if I were you, that's what I would do. Okay. Not if I were me. Got it. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. Like I would, I would honestly uh, get this bag if I was not going to purchase a double flat. A double flat, right? Okay. Okay. Sounds yeah. good. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. So we are gonna show you guys what we can fit inside of our bags. Or am I gonna show them? Cause you, you know, know what? Yes. So Quita is gonna show you what she can fit inside of her medium. I'm actually just gonna. I'm not gonna get clothes like we do. I'm just going to pull the stuff out of the bag and let you guys see me pull the stuff out. Okay, does that work? Yes. Okay, so we'll do you want me to hold anything? Hold the bag and okay. let me pull the stuff out. Okay. Okay. So like, yeah, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna pop it open. There we go. So on the inside, I just have my favorite lotion, tissue. Um, what is this? Oh, this is my uh external bat or another additional battery what do you call those things this is the battery a travel battery yeah what she said <laughs> um i have my clay and this is actually what i'm using as a wallet so i have my cards in there some cash my car key and just my house key so you gotta hold it up people like to see you taking the stuff out at least i do okay then i have some deodorant the degree flat was covering my face Son, your face is not important right now. Okay, I have a compact. This is the MAC NC50 Studio Fix. And it's inside of a little Chanel case because I don't want to get makeup all over my bag. That would be the worst. Oh, that's cute. I have my mini pochette by Louis Vuitton. What else do I have? Oh, some more lotion. I only have this one. This is by Crabtree and Evelyn. And it's because I'm running out of this one. So I have two lotions, hand sanitizer, and what else? Oh, my perfume. Mm. This is Chanel number no. really? 5. Really? Are you going to really spray that? <laughs> what? <laughs> Crazy. Okay. And wait, is that it? No, okay. yep, that is it. So I am actually going to put exactly what she had into her purse. And we'll see what's left over. Oh, let me do it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to put the mini pochette. Because like literally, when I she tell you, I have like my I have my life in here. Literally, my life is in here. So typically, if I have a bag, I want it to be able to fit my mini pochette. Okay. So we have that. Okay. I definitely want my perfume. Okay. I definitely want my keys. Keys. What else do I want? Ah, uh, I definitely the lipstick. My lipstick is was in, the in my mini pochette. Okay, let me put that back in there. Okay. Okay, so that's in there. I want lotion. Okay. And I'm probably going to want my powder. Powder. Let's see if that could fit. Okay. And what else? Maybe the Kleenex. You want to try the Kleenex? Yeah, because we can just kind of stuff that right on top. All right, so we'll close it up. See what fits. What if fits. it fits? Yeah. Uh -oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. Good. Really so nice fit. So the only okay. thing we have left is the charger, deodorant, one thing, a lotion. But we already have a lotion in here. And then a freaking the sanitizer. sanitizer. We need this. Okay, so let's put let's that on top. Let's see if we can put it on the top. Let's put it right there. Girl, that is nice. Okay, so yeah, you could actually wear that as an everyday bag. So the only thing we have left now is, is the deodorant and, and a charger. The portable charger. Yeah, so I feel like if you were going to get the purse, and if you wanted to get, like you can literally put everything that you use on a regular day in here. Yeah, so that's pretty good. It's really good. Wow. And they do have this bag in three sizes. It comes in the mini, which retails for $3,200. The small, small is which is $3,400. And then the medium, which is the one I have, and that retails at $3,700. Yes. So, yeah. And there's different colors. They have the nude, the red, the black, and blue. Here's the thing with Chanel, though. Like, they say that the bag is blue, but the but bag was black, black to me. So I don't believe in nothing they're saying. So they will literally have a bag, and it'll be named gold, and the bag will be pink. 
So don't <laughs> listen to them. They be lying to y'all. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> All right, you guys. And that concludes our video for today. If you guys like this video, make sure you thumbs up and make sure you guys subscribe. Thank you so much for all of the subscriptions. Yay! And to our new people, <laughs> make sure you hit that subscription button. And we will see you guys next week. Bye! Bye! -bye. Alright, now let's just start this video. You ready? I'm gonna take my... <laughs> Welcome back to Chic Blend. Um, what's my name? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you talking all this stuff? <laughs> you forgot your whole name. I was going to say, I'm a kid's Marie. <laughs>